welcome to another episode. So spring is here. My citrus made it through the winter okay, as you've seen in my update. But there is a little bit of cleanup that has to be done. Like there's some dead tips on the tree here, on this one in particular. So I'll also be doing a little bit of light pruning and um, just picking out better branches that, you know, go in a better direction. You don't actually have to prune citrus at all, but it's for shaping, you can do some. So I'm just going to keep it light and uh, I'll show you exactly how I pick the branches that I would like to have. So let's go take a look at that now. All right, so I'm going to start with my biggest lemon tree here. This is the one that I grew from seed. And um, as you can see, some tips have died back. All due to frost. Which is alright. It's not a big deal. It happens. I'm kind of pushing the zone here. Uh, kind of strangely enough, the one, the citrus here that I grew from seed is less cold tolerant than my ones that I bought at the store. My lemon and my lime tree. But that's okay. So some of the branch selection I want to do, as you can see here, this is died back right here. It's pretty much the entire branch. So I can just take that off like so. And then you can see that these two branches here are going to be interfering with one another. So something that I would like to do is redirect the branch in a different way. So in this case, there's a leaf that grows towards me here. I'll prune it back to that. And it'll grow that direction. Away from this branch here. With this one, I want it to be more horizontal growing because I don't want it to compete with the apex, which is this branch right here. So I'm just going to take the tip off, which is already dead anyway, <laughs> and that'll stimulate it to grow more horizontal because this branch here will take over. This bud that's dormant in there right now, it'll activate because of this. Now speaking of the apex, there is a branch in here also that, that died right in there. There's a live part to the left there, but it's, or to the top there, but it's not really necessary for it to be there. So I'm just going to prune that off, like so. This branch here, it actually has a, another branch down below here, this guy, which is growing a much better direction. I could take this tip off, but then you see this is the next available node which is going to grow in towards the center of the tree, which I really don't want. So I'm just going to take the entire thing off and stimulate that horizontal branch there. Like so. This tip in here isn't doing too hot, so I'm just going to take a tip off as well to the next node, which already has a small branch that's forming in there. So I'm just going to take that right out. Here you can see that this branch is growing, or actually, two branches that are growing uh, vertical here, which I don't want. I don't want them to compete with the top. So, but there is a branch down low, which looks like that had its tip die off. But I can take it down to that and encourage a more horizontal growth habit for that branch. There are some more down below here. So hopefully they'll reactivate and just kind of see what happens. Over here, there's a horizontal bud right there. You see that the tip has died off. I don't want it to compete with the apex again. So I'm just going to take that tip off there. like that in here you see that there's a double branch uh, the tip of one died off and there's no good buds that are really coming out of that top branch here but I do have 
pretty vigorous branches right below it. And I don't want to grow them over top of each other anyways, because they're going to shade each other out. So I'm just going to take that bottom, or the top, branch here out. Like that. Now the tip of this is still dead, so I'm going to have to take it back. There's a butter underneath it, hopefully that'll activate. So I'll just take that tip off and see what happens from there. Take this little tip off. This branch here may or may not survive. I might have to go a little bit back further, but in that case, either even still, I can go back to this branch here. But we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. There's a branch in here that's crossing, which I don't like. And all the way at the base, there is a node, a leaf there, see it just there, that is growing out. So we'll just prune it back to that. Most of the pruning that you're doing in citrus is just to prevent congestion and things like that. You don't even have to do a whole lot to them. I don't want to do too much either. I want to keep the vigor within the tree here. Got another branch right down low here. And I've got a bud that faces outwards right in there. So that's what I'm gonna prune it back to. So there's one more thing. These hanging branches, these are, I really don't like them. I don't think, I don't like the way it looks. <laughs> but if you live in a very hot climate, they can actually help to shade out your trunk. So depending on where you live, you might actually just want to keep these. Uh, for me though, I'm not really in a very hot climate, so I think I'm just going to prune them back a little bit. I just really don't like the way they look. So I've got a branch right up here. It already has a leaf bud that grows out towards the outside of the tree. So I'm just going to prune it back to that. Like I said, if you're in a hotter climate, you might want to leave those branches. But for me, it's not necessary. I've got another one down here. Mm. This one isn't too bad, actually. I could prune it to this leaf right there. Because it grows outwards. Mm. But I think for now, I'll leave it. I might decide later on if I want to take it off or not, but for now I'll just leave it for what it is. Um, this branch is starting to weep as well. I'm just going to take it back to here. There's an outward facing bud here. Take it off there. So you can see through it. The rest I'll just leave for now on this tree here. I'm going to take the tip off of here because I don't want this upward facing part. I don't want it to compete with the top. So I'm just gonna take the top off. Just like so. And I think that's pretty much it for this tree. Onwards to the next one. So this is my Meyer lemon. And I'm not actually going to prune it, because I want to keep all that vigor in there. And there's not really anything wrong with it, the way it's growing. It's a little bizarre on some of the branches, like ideally this wouldn't be crossing right here. But, you know, it's got lemons on it from, um, when did they come on? I believe, like, autumn of last year, maybe? Something like that. Maybe late summer. There's a bunch of lemons on there. Really cool. There's also flower buds, which is very exciting. Happy to see that. I think there's some more yeah, right there as well. And I think there's some more forming at some of these tips. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna do anything to it though. I'm just gonna leave that for what it is, but I wanted to at least show you those flower buds popping on. What I am gonna do, however, is prune this line back a little bit. Um, I don't like how this branch comes out, juts out like that, you know, as compare in comparison to the rest of the, um, the small tree here. 
So I'll probably take it back. Hmm. This branch right here, maybe. I'm taking a fair bit off there, including a couple very small limes. But talking about the limes, I'm actually going to remove them because there's not that many branches on here, and I just wanted to focus on getting bigger, getting stronger. So I'm just going to take them off. It's always sad. Rather leave them on, but so I've got a couple more limes down here. That I got to remove. Just like that. Very unfortunate, but it's okay. It'll grow more. So that's all I'm gonna do to that lime right there. That's the lemon all done. This is one more thing I want to show you. So right here is the kumquat. And I just wanted to slow down this branch right here. It's coming out too far. So I'm just going to take the tip off down to there. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. But also I can tell that this branch is trying to take over as the main leader, which I don't want it to do. So, I know what, I'll just leave it for now. If I end up having to take all this top off and just replace it with this branch as the leader, then I'll have to do that, but I'll decide at a later date. For now, I'll just let the, the rest of the kumquat grow. And all of these are fine. Just leave them for what it is. That grapefruit seedling that I had did, in the, did not make it, unfortunately. This blood mandarin. So has a little bit of green on it. So I'll just leave that for now. All right, so unfortunately I have to do it all freehand today because my tripod broke. So I'll have to get myself another one. But anyway, I hope that helped you out a little bit. I hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.